A girl was only 14 years old when a police officer raped her and got her pregnant. Even with him behind bars, she says he is still tormenting her and that he uses his sister to help. Our Gaston County reporter Ken Lemon was in the courtroom today when that girl fought to try to get a restraining order. I want him completely out of my life. I don't want nothing to do with him. A girl says former police officer Paul Blair needs to leave her alone. Why do you keep on and on and on trying to drag somebody along? Prosecutors say he was supposed to mentor her while working as a lower police officer and school resource officer, but instead groomed her for sex and got her pregnant when she was just 14 years old. He pleaded guilty two years ago and was ordered to have no contact with her, but she told the judge that's not happening. She said Blair's been trying to contact her from prison by going through his sister, using three-way calling, and even trying to send along messages. Supposedly, like, has a letter from him that she wants to read to me called The Bedtime Story. Blair's sister said it's not true, even saying the girl reached out to her first. I did respond, but never contacted her. But I won't contact her. I mean, I won't even respond to her. In court today, the teen and her mom fought for a restraining order. At first, Blair's sister planned to fight it until she learned attorneys would have access to her cell phone, text messages, and calls from her brother in prison. The girl's mother heard some of those calls. She claims they included threats against her. Just the phone recordings have scared me beyond scared. She said it's the second time that Blair was caught trying to reach out to her daughter from prison. Is it over behind me? No, he's not going to stop. 